so <laughs> we'll see if his training has paid off. Yeah, I was saying that he has to he had to study up while we were watching that last round. Yeah, I, I heard you give him a lesson. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I love talking about how zone works. It's it's very fun. There's a lot. It's, it's very complicated. There's a lot of depth to it. Yeah, there's a lot that's like not super apparent when you're learning the game. There's an, a lot of documentation on it, but you know this match is starting again. Uh, first to three, best of five. Yeah, he's gonna probably opt it six three up because you know you build zone. Yeah. Probably told you about like, how he doesn't know when to press zone, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he definitely seemed um, anxious about like phase three. Uh, you know, being comfortable, being at the top of the board is a very important part of TDC, um, especially in that late game. But yeah, a, a lot of players, a lot of top players opt for the 6 3 open because it uh, speed runs zone charge. Yeah, they're trying to charge zone ASAP, right? Exactly. Because a lot yeah. of players want to be the first person to zone. Okay, some interesting T-spin setups from, from Salted here. Mm, weird skimming, interesting. Okay. It's a little high though. T-spin zero, yeah. But that, okay, okay. finding a 19 there is actually really good. Nice. Given Pretty that good. situation. So, so let's do RJ. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, 55. Uh, 55 from 18 is still pretty yeah. good. He's uh, usually far more efficient in zone. Yeah, I guess that first zone is the one that you generally want to to be your strongest zone. It's the one that you expect to be your strongest zone. Mm -hmm. um, but not able to find those last few line clears. One of the yeah. other things we do talk about in TC is that sometimes if you're sacrificing, like if it's going to take a lot of time for you to go for that next higher zone clear, then it might not be worth it because you right. might be able to do that same amount sometimes, of attack. Sometimes, yeah, you know, you want to just send out a zone that's as fast as like possible yeah yeah like that was a pretty fast zone from rj right very there. fast zone salt is finding a lot of uh t-spins in this zone so it should be better yeah. yeah not able to find that tetris there okay oh yeah uh, yeah cancels it out and sends some back with interest yeah um unfortunately was not able to phase transfer with that zone so we are going to see both players getting really close at 16,000 oh, yeah. mark. We're 58. about to hear that ding. There it is. And now that garbage is going to be really messy on RJ's board. Ooh, yeah. But RJ is, I think, a bit more comfortable at dealing with this than Salted. So I think, like, over time, you'll see RJ probably edge him out. Ooh, those Ooh, drops especially were if he missed drops. Yeah. yeah those that really sucks. Brutal. He was in, like, a much better board position. Yeah. And all of a sudden, that, that lead that Salted yeah. had can go away with those misdrops. Yeah, RJ had a very like high up stack, so he'd be able to convert it into a, like a lot of damage right now. All right. Okay, that's a nice TST setup that Salted was able to find. Oh, that yeah, misdrop. Yeah, zone, but oh, he doesn't have enough time to finish it off. Yeah. Oh, Damn. wow, and that zone chunk comes in. That is yeah. huge. Both players at a very similar speed, uh, yeah. but RJ did find the efficiency there, especially in that zone. Wow, that zone attack difference is huge. Yeah. So Salta is typically faster at these games, but he, again, he's not as comfortable with TC as RJ is, so yeah. he's not able to really use that to his full advantage, because he's usually like the fastest person at these tournaments. Right. Nice. And then, yeah, you, uh, yeah you'll see him like have trouble figuring out like how to build a stack to prepare for the zone. Or like, you know, he's like thinking, oh, I'm faster, so I'll zone first yeah. a lot as well. It's interesting, Salsa and I were having a discussion about um, potentially like not zoning first and going for the strategy of tanking your opponent's zone. But what we, what I, the advice I gave to him before his match was that the better your opponent is, the less viable of a strategy that is. Right. It's hard to estimate like how much damage you'll take, you'll receive, and then like you just might die. Right, because the, um, the way that zone damage is calculated is... Oh, that's a very nice ulti find from RJ. Nice. Wow. All right. So, so that is going to come in pretty here? clean. Nice. No. Yeah, just going for going nope. for the TSD is... Um, Simple option. Yeah. I forget what I was going to say. I'll figure it out later. Uh, something about early zone. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, zone chunks. So the way that um, zone damage ca is calculated, it's the number, like the amount of damage you would do if you did that sequence outside of zone, mm -hmm. plus a certain bonus based on A, how many lines you cleared, and B, how full your meter was when the zone started. Right. Um, so that, that bonus um, does 
always come at the end. So it normally does come in in very large chunks of maybe like 10, 12. And so if your opponent is regularly hitting ulties, then you're not going to be able to, to tank it. If it's just that zone chunk that's coming in, it's huge. Right. It might be your whole board. Mm -hmm. So if you ever see one player zone, another player have to catch up, and you see one giant chunk, that actually means that they're at the end of it. Right, that makes sense. So it's like a good thing if you're seeing the end of it. Or if you're seeing a giant oh, chunk. Oh, yeah, here we go. RG zone, put them into phase three. Yes. Salted very low, though, so he'll probably try to cancel off damage. If he right. can, because... This is where speed is super important, though. Yeah. Is if you're in that position, that advantage going into phase three. Yeah, he's got a very nice LST going, so yeah. he's going to be in the driver's seat right now. Yeah, and that's the important part, is being in the driver's seat. Yeah, I heard this game is very uh, offense focused. It is. Despite, you know, the defensive like ability of the zone. Yeah, yeah. Using a zone offensively generally, like, that's yeah. how you keep the upper hand in a lot of these matches. Yeah. I feel like in this kind of situation he would probably like want to stack up more to use his zone, right? Yeah. The amount that you would upstack for a zone kind of depends on your speed. Mm, true, okay. And in the earlier phases of the game, sometimes you can count on your opponent to give you free upstack. Like, right. let's say you just want your board a little bit higher for the zone, you can just let your opponent set a Tetris if it's that earlier phase, but if it's later, you don't want that. So, it, like, the height that you zone at does kind of depend on the phase as well. And yeah. because the later the phase is, the shorter the timer is. Right. Yeah, we saw Salted get another zone while RJ was doing his zone. It was like a quarter zone, but he managed to come out on top in terms of damage. Right, RJ's staying alive here really well in like dealing with the attack that Salted is able to deal. Nice Kaidon. Yep. Like one of RJ's strengths is that he's generally able to like have a game Ooh, Ooh. those missed drops are not good. Yeah. Yeah, but RJ is like very good at making a game plan, like no matter like what his board state is. So, yeah. like he'll always find a good way down and like get his board back into a good position. This is a nice zone so far from Sultan. Yeah, he's getting rid of a lot of garbage. And oh, but that misdrop is not drop. good. Yeah. That, those are some very nice fixes for that misdrop yes. from RJ. Th those are actually beautiful. Ooh. And RJ is able to negate that. Both players at the bottom of the board here. Yeah. So this is where both players kind of have the opportunity to take the upper hand here. Yes, right. Ooh, but... <gasps> oh, oh that, no. for that misdrop, okay, Sultan okay. was in a great very spot. Very nice fix, though. Yeah. Finding the combo down in for the nice. rest of this down stack. Are you doing a good job canceling most of it? Yeah. Yeah, but I guess like it depends. Like neither of these players are like particularly like risky, so like they're like they're like pretty risk adverse, so they're probably gonna want to like get rid of like their garbage. Being like, risky can be super rewarding yes. in NTC, not in phase three. To be clear, not phase three. Yeah, Definitely. it's a big gamble. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, some of the most insane plays from top players have been in phase three. Right. Yeah, that was a, that was a pr pretty good zone from Salted. Yeah, I, and he finds a very nice follow-up to it, too. Yeah, he's got the offense to keep it going. And Ooh. again, we're about even. Yeah, but RJ has a lot more garbage, so it's going to be pretty tough for him, unless he can find a nice zone to downstack, probably. And I think I've gotten a question about zone battle a couple times, like, you know, is there any gravity increase? Is there anything that changes throughout phase three to keep the game moving towards an end? The answer is no. Yeah, I mean, it's it's difficult enough, right? Yeah, it, it's just about staying alive, but it's not like there's any, like, margin time. Right. Or anything similar. Or, like, sudden death mechanics. Exactly. But there still is the mechanic of more Swiss cheese garbage, is there not? Well, once you hit 60,000 points, it actually doesn't get more Swiss cheese from there. I mean, it's it's 60,000 points, there's nothing that changes. I mean, it's, it's as bad as it is, right? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Salted. That sure. definitely took a lot much. longer there. Yeah, but you see, like, the line line attack, like, the APM, like, difference come into play there. Yeah. Especially if you can't, like, dig through the garbage fast enough. You can see just how much slower RJ is as a player, but he makes up for it with his smooth plays. Yeah. Alright, I think RJ did Mr. T-Spin. That is such a great name. I don't know yeah, why he ends wild. up with a uh, TSD. <laughs> Mr. T-Spin. 
Yeah, these these guys are, are a remnant of an old age. <laughs> well, I mean, for the longest time, Salted would use DT Cannon, and <laughs> RJ still uses Mr. T-Spin. Alright, Salted going for the zone. I just hear them yelling Akashi Robo jump scare out there. Yes, I believe that's Oof Putin and Holland over there. Okay. Nice 47 from Salted. That's a very nice uh, start to the zone for RJ. Yeah. <laughs> no more damage in. Nice. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, Salted is forced to quarter zone here, but he does have the out that he needs, especially since this garbage is kind of come in very clean. Yep. He'll be feeling pretty good about this. Able to continue his 7 2. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, both players are very good at managing their garbage, and oops. <gasps> Figuring oh, out their holes, except that, that this drop stack, is yeah. very painful. Yeah, RJ one win away from advancing to losers finals, where I think he gets a rematch with Super Shocky. Well, not for today, but from uh, what's it called? And lastly, you know, uh, Super Shocky took him out. Got it. Got on it. On his uh, losers run, so. Okay. If RJ makes it, then he'll get revenge. <laughs> Sultan makes it, he can get revenge for RJ. <laughs> nice. Alright, Sultan opting to zone. Interesting, Ooh. yeah, the zone is cut short there. And we do hear that 20,000 ding. Yeah, 20,000 is pretty manageable for these guys. Yeah, I would say most top players, there isn't really too much of a difference in gameplay between Phase 1 and Phase 2. Ooh, hopefully we got some misdrops going on. Alright, he's probably going to have to zone now, <laughs> or else. Oh! Or just die. Oh, oh no, that's tragic. I love the, the double, or the coat on the front there. But yeah, that is it for Feels a little for too cozy. Semis. Yeah, gotta gotta be cozy with the top of the board there. Not that cozy though. Nope. Nope. He lost because he didn't have his uh True. Good luck charm. Yeah, that that <laughs> was a that was an interesting match. I think we, we got to see, you know, the best of both of those players, but Yeah, I mean RJ is just like way more consistent at this game, like I said, so Yeah, TC is